Hello guys, welcome to the video, I hope you're all well. Okay guys, so uh, season 29 start date, let's get straight into it. It starts on the 15th of September guys at 5pm PDD, CET and KST. This is the last new season of Diablo 3 guys, from season 30 and onwards. They are rehashing the old season themes, okay? So, um, yeah, it's been the last new one guys we have, unfortunately. But, it's still going to be a lot of fun, because they've added solo cell phone mode guys. They've actually added solo self mode mode. For those that don't know, there's also Paragon Ceiling Cap as well in solo self mode. And quite a lot of other changes, okay? And also, guys, there's a message here from the Diablo 3 dev team. Let's quickly read this out, actually. What the future holds, a message from the D3 team. Uh, Valiant Nephilim have hack and slash hordes through seasons, introducing gameplay related themes, experience defining quite a lot of updates, and analytics events for the last 11 years. Can you believe it's been 11 years of seasons? Uh, Diablo 3 will continue to burn bright in season 29 and beyond. This season sets the bedrock for the game's future and introduces our final brand new theme. Okay, now personally guys, I would have liked it if so the South Fan was there at season 1. But better late than never, I guess. <laughs> season 30 will bring fresh gameplay balances and bug fixes to reinvigorate your adventures but introduce no new theme. Instead, this season will usher in the permanent return of community fan favorite thing that's Rites of Sanctuary. <laughs> which is currently the, 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 the one of, on season 28. Which is really, really good, actually. Which will be playable across all modes. Following season 30, iconic themes and features from seasons past will be reintroduced roughly every three months, guys. So we're going roughly back to every three to four month seasons again on D3. Which is really good, because right now it's roughly every six months, so... More D3 seasons, guys, for a fresh playthrough. That's nice. Ensuring there will be a shortage of twisted obstacles and overcome a demonic blood to spill. And there you go, guys. So, uh, yeah, season 20 lines our last new seasonal buff. Then from 30, auto rights come back. And after that, hopefully every three to four months, they're going to reintroduce some of the older fun season mechanics. How about you guys? What were some of the fun, most fun ones you played? played? I quite like the... Um, the ethereal season actually ethereal season was quite fun obviously the one with extra cube slots the canine's cube was fun so I'd like to see those come back obviously and obviously some changes to class balance and stuff maybe bring it up a little bit you know all right for guys so those that know um season 29 feet i've already gone over this in the previous video before but basically we've got these new diablo geoblock fishers okay it opens up these portals they go to another portal and you can get tons of mats and stuff in there guys it's really really good actually and um Got Cosmic Reward, guys. This cool little thing here. Portrait trait here. The little Dead Dragon thing. Mad King's favorite portrait and the Quirf Pet. So I'll put a link to this, guys, as usual in the description of this video. Hadrian's Gift. Barb starts with Might of the Earth. Crusader gets Fawns of the Invoker. Demon Hunter gets Shadow's Mantle. Monk gets Monkey King's Garb. Necro gets Grace of Nourish. Witch Doctor gets Jade. Ah, uh, damn it. And Wizard gets Fireburst Finery. That's pretty good. Nice. See so, yeah, you guys. For, like I said, I've already gone over this in the last video, but basically solo self found mode. So it's a mode that you play by yourself completely, and um, it caps out to 800 Paragon, which is really, really nice. So now you don't have to worry now. So you're pushing leaderboards, and I, I play this game solo pretty much all the time, but I could never get... I've been ranked one a few times over the years, but I could never compete with four-player unlimited Paragon. It was impossible in the end after a few weeks. So now... Everyone has an equal chance on the leaderboard now. And now it's down to skill, skill and your uh, gear, guys, and the map that you're pushing. So that's really, really nice, okay? So yeah, there'll be separate leaderboards and all that, which is really, really good. And they've got the uh, the new portal system as well. Go for these portals, guys. Go to these different realms, new mats and stuff like that. You can actually get a lot of mats out of this, even keys and things, and bounty mats as well from the end chest, which is really good. So you don't have to worry about doing bounties. You can just do this new feature, guys. And makes it much more a streamlined experience. There's also new monster fixes as well. Invented in Necrotic as well. Okay, there are new fixes as well. Watch out for those. Paragon Scene, like I said, guys, is now a total of 800 Paragon points. But you can put as many points into each stat as you want, which is kind of nice. This change is exclusive to Season 29 only. Developers note, we understand the Paragon was a king in terms of character power. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. With this change in the season, we wanted to shift that power from main stat, grinded to gameplay knowledge... And gear hunted. Yes! We chose 800 as an initial starting point and would appreciate your feedback on this cap. There are a few changes within the paragraph system to keep in mind. As Bush is basically moving speed and area damage. But it looks, guys, they, it looks like they fixed area damage as well. Area damage should perform the same, if not a bit better, 
and with substantial improvements to performance so we might not get no more lag now of area damage builds which should actually be really really good hopefully hopefully so there you go guys that is pretty much it so um, there's a few more changes here the class balance stuff all this is still exactly the same so uh basically for witch doctor guys we've got basically got a chicken build now which is insane i've already done a video for this build during ptr and basically angry chicken guys with Arakir is absolutely nuts. It does huge amounts of damage. <laughs> it's really, really good. Demon Hunter, guys, we've got to change here to Gears of Dreadlands as well. We want Gears of Dreadlands to be easier to play optimally and forego the visual indicator showed stacks now. So Gears of Hunter, this is much better. And Crusader, guys, got a bit of change here as well. Each bit of hit by your Blessed Shield increases the damage of your Blessed Shields by 35 to 40 for 6 seconds and stacks up to 100 times. No more individual stacks. Vigilante built had no previous bonus. While riding your war horse, Fist of the Heavens deals increased damage equal to your movement speed. And it's automatically cooled down around a nearby enemy uh, into a base on your attack speed on your actual bar. So um, because you can pump your paragon point into, uh, into a movement speed now, up to a certain point, it actually benefit that quite well. And there you go, guys. Like I said, I'll put the note to this guys in the description of this video as usual, so you can have a little uh, look at the patch sense. But yeah, last main season, guys, of Diablo 3. Should be a lot of fun, especially with solo self-mount family. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe for more Diablo content. I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to get some dinner. Cheers! <laughs> see you guys soon. Take care.